And we begin with breaking news of a massive fire in Dallas County in the city of Balch Springs. A live look from HD Chopper 8 where you can see the devastation from a grass fire that started around 4 o'clock this afternoon. It charred at least 20 structures, including at least 11 homes, Chris. Yeah, now we're getting a better idea of how this fire started and what's being done for the families who've lost their homes. Yeah, I've never seen a fire spread like this in the Metroplex in my 14 years here at WFA. Never seen anything like that. Yeah, Balt Springs is east of Dallas, inside the Dallas County line. Uh, Matt Howard is there on the ground bringing us some new information on how this fire started. Matt? Yeah, Chris and Izzy, I want you to take a look to my right over here. There is a field that is behind all of these homes. According to the city manager, Susan Clues, a crew was mowing this field. They hit a metal object while mowing. Sparks flew. A fire started. And then because of these winds, because of the dry conditions out here, that fire started to move rapidly towards those homes. And the property line that we now know is Bell Manor Court. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see a little bit better uh, vantage point that we have here. We're at Fox Fuels, which is right next to this uh, grass fire where everything started. And just, I believe, south of uh, where these homes are, you can see just all of the devastation from this. Uh, there's at least one ladder up right now spraying water into the top of a home. I mean, these, this fire has gone through and ripped through homes. And according to Susan Clues, at least 20 impacted, either burned down or touched by the fire line. And we were saying earlier just how dry it is out here. If anything catches fire out in this field, because it is so dry, because the winds are so high, it can really be a recipe for disaster. And that's what we are seeing out here uh, off of Bell Manor Court. There's a lot, a lot of fire crews that have responded to this. The city of Balch Springs is here in this parking lot of Fox Fuels, creating somewhat of a command post so they know what's going on. City Manager Susan Clues told me that the entire idea right now is to just contain this fire, get other people out of the way that are nearby to keep it spreading from home to home. And obviously we want to protect life here. So those folks in that neighborhood, they've been taking away, they've been taken away from the area. But at this point, they're trying to contain this stuff as fast as they can to try and prevent any more homes from being burned. We'll be out here for the rest of the night and have another update for you at 10 p.m. Back to you. All right, Matt, just a quick question uh, before we go. Have you noticed, I, I'm looking behind you and I say, I, I gotta say this is the first time we've actually seen somewhat clear sky yeah. and, and not that black smoke pouring out of everything. I mean, do you smell and, and feel the difference out there from, from when you were there an hour ago? Yeah, Chris, we were coming down I-635 and you could see black smoke filling the air. I mean, it was just a plume of it and it has gotten better. It's gone down, it's dissipated, which makes you think that crews are having some success with this fire. But we won't know the exact uh, extent of how they're doing containment until we get a little bit closer inside the neighborhood, which is where we're headed right after this.